In today's video, we will see about stationary random processes. So, the basics of random processes are covered in previous videos. So, the random process is called stationary. Uh, there are two types in the um, stationary random processes. Widely, we can say two types. One is strict sense stationary, and another is wide sense stationary random process. So, strict sense station. First, we will see what is strict sense stationary random process. The random process XT is said to be strict sense stationary if its kth order statistics are independent of time shifting. So, kth order statistics uh, means uh, you yeah, yeah, it's CDF, kth order CDF, PDF, PMF, mean, variance. All these are uh, independent of time shifting or origin shifting. So, here uh, mathematically we represent it as a kth order uh, suppose joint CDF. So, all these notations are already discussed in the previous videos. So, uh, the notation for the CDF is F, capital F. Now, the, we are taking the random variables in that random process by setting, by observing, observing the random process at T1, T2 and up to Tk. So, Xt1 here, we are getting Xt1 uh, is the random variable obtained by observing the random process at T1, T1 instant then xt2 xt2 so why t why k because k third statistics we have to show it independent of time and here x1 x2 x up to xk are the values taken by this xt1 xt2 xk in uh, respectively so what uh, what is this uh, if this is the uh, strict sense stationary random process then this cdf is independent of time shifting that means this CDF is equivalent, equivalent to the CDF taken at T1 plus T, T2 plus T up to Tk plus T. So the time shifting already you know in the uh, subject signals and systems. So similarly PD, for PDF we write uh, in the similar fashion but instead of capital F we write it as small f. For PMF we are writing it as P. What is CDF, PDF, PMF all these basics are there in the playlist you can check there. So next and i suggest to um, go through the basics first then uh, go on uh, uh, then study this uh, random processes then only you will get the uh, feel of uh, these um, equations now here i have written that xt1 xt2 are the random which is already discussed that these are the suppose this is the random process which is the ensemble of the sample function and if you fix the time t1 then all these values constitute the random variable xt1 if you fix t2 then all these values constitute the values of uh, um, constitute one random variable which is xt2 next let us see what is wide sense stationary random process if uh, the stationary random process is independent of time shifting for only two or uh, second order that means its first order and second order are independent of time shifting statistics of the first order and second order statistics are independent of time shifting then we sell, say it as a wide sense stationary random process that means strict sense stationary random process is wider and wide sense stationary uh, uh, random that means its sample space is wider wide sense stationary random process has only up to uh, second order statistics independent of time that means uh, here you remember that k is greater than 2 that means strict sense stationary has more order uh, more order statistics independent of time than wide sense stationary random process so uh, so again we are writing the same C for a cdf only first order so xt1 we are taking then xt1 plus t uh, x1 is value taken by the cdf uh, or that xt1 um, xt1 random variable second order cdf we have to take two that is xt1 xt2 and values are x1 x2 then here you have to write t1 plus t t2 plus t first order pdf small f xt1 xt here uh, here one correction is there so here t1 plus t you have to write xt like this then uh, second order pdf uh, xt1 xt2 here also the correction is go to write t1 plus t and t, t2 plus t then uh, pmf first order p x t1 x1 so if you remember this one uh, first order and second order 
and uh, for a PDF you have to write a small f or PMF you have to write capital P then all the formulas or the daily or the expressions are same so let us see what is the mean of the wild sense stationary random process so for uh, mean we uh, we know we take the expectation of xt and the formula is you have to take the value of x and uh, pdf of that xt uh, all these formulas are also discussed in the previous videos so uh, if it is the discrete then you have to take summation xi pxt xi uh, pxt means probability xt is equal to xi so for void sense stationary random process first property of void sense stationary random process that is that its mean is constant that means uh, ext is independent of time ext that is mean is independent of time so if it is independent of time we can write it as ext1 equal to ext2 equal to ext2k is equal to constant now ext1 you know this is the random variable obtained by observing the random process at t1 or we can write it as ext is equal to ext plus tau so this is uh, this we are uh, going to use further now that means uh, the uh, you can consider this as a t1 and this as a t2 so the uh, mean is constant so the, this is constant let us see uh, second order statistic uh, for the wide sense stationary random process so second order statistics is not constant but it is dependent on the time difference between the two two instances so uh, if uh, this is the cdf here cdf then uh, the this is dependent on t2 minus t1 so t1 minus t1 is 0 so fx 0 t2 minus t1 similarly pdf similarly pmf equation if you remember this equation you can write these two so uh, what this equation is saying that uh, this cdf is depend not dependent on t1 and t2 but it is, it is depending on the difference between t2 and t1 so that difference so here difference is zero that's why zero is written now let us see correlation so correlation uh, you know that correlation formula is e e x t1 x t2 correlation between the uh, random variable x t1 and x t2 uh, in the random process so this is you have to take values x1 x2 and then pdf joint pdf second order pdf x t1 x t2 x1 x2 dx1 dx2 if it is the discrete case then you have to take the values taken x1 i x2 j summation i j then uh, pmf px t1 x t2 x1 i x2 j so all these expressions are there please see to those videos or watch those videos then only you will get the feel of this video so next uh, for correlation is nothing but the second order statistic so it should also uh, it should depend on the time difference between t1 and t2 so correlation is dependent so here uh, the formula is uh, modified for the wide sense stationary random process that instead of here t1 you are writing 0 and instead of t2 you are writing t2 minus t1 because it is dependent on the time difference here also it is t2 minus t1 and here 0 so the uh, how how you are writing this expression ex t1 t2 is equal to r x x for this x and x and uh, this is depend not dependent on t1 and t2 but it is dependent on t1 uh, difference t2 many times it is written as r uh, here x0 and here x t1 t2 and the values taken by the, the that are r x1 x2 normally this notation is used this is another notation for the correlation so correlation is dependent on the time difference let us see mean square value what is the mean square value of the uh, wide sense stationary random process you keep this equation in mind that mean square value x square t is the mean square value is total power and this is equal to the ac power that is sigma xt square plus dc power that is mu xt square this expression is valid for the random processes that the mean square value that is total power is equal to variance that is uh, ac power plus dc power so uh, mu xt square is uh, expectation is expectation x whole square that is mean square so um, uh, let us uh, derive the expression for the mean square value expectation xt x of t plus tau 
instead of t1 we are writing t and t2 we are writing t plus 2 is nothing but the correlation and we assume that for the uh, wide sense stationary the random process correlation is dependent on the tau that means time difference t plus tau minus t is tau so uh, for getting the mean square value we are, uh, we are uh, keeping tau is equal to 0 so we you get xt xt so that is equal to rx x 0 so e x square t is equal to rx x 0 so this is very important that mean square value is also constant that is equal to the maximum sorry rx x or the correlation value auto correlation value at instant or uh, at time difference 0 so this is important that mean square value is also you are getting uh, constant so up till now you got mean as constant and mean square uh, value is also that means you got e x as constant and e x means mu x and e x square is also constant that is rx x 0 now uh, in, uh, in um, that means you can write e x square t1 equal to e x square t2 equal to e x square t k that is equal to rx x 0 because it is not dependent on time uh, time that's why for all the random variables you are getting uh, this is equal to 0 so we can write mean square value of random process is equal to mean square value of random uh, variable is equal to constant for discrete case if uh, for discrete say, uh, case instead of t you are writing n and here n plus uh, l it is rx x 0 so same here uh, it is written for different random variables so variance Variance we have already seen uh, variance uh, formula is nothing but the mean square value e x square t minus mu x t square. So that is uh, this formula is important. So uh, in case of white sense stationary random process this is constant r x is 0. This is constant that is mu x square. So sigma x square t is also constant. So we are uh, so variance is also constant so variance we are writing instead of sigma x square t we are writing sigma square so x sigma square x t is equal to x t 1 x t 2 x t k or sigma square x t is equal to sigma square x t plus 2 is equal to sigma square so for discrete case instead of t you are writing uh, uh, instead of n uh, t 1 n 1 n 2 n k that means variance of random process is equal to variance of random variable is equal to constant so for wide sense stationary random process e x is constant e x square is also constant that is mean square value and sigma square is also constant so mean square value is constant that is rx x 0 next let us see covariance so relation between covariance and correlation is covariance is equal to correlation e x t x of t plus tau is equal to independent mean that is e x t into e, a, e of x t plus tau uh, covariance we are writing as c x x t comma t plus tau for wide sense stationary random process correlation is dependent on time to tau and e x t is constant mu x e x t plus tau is also constant that is mu x so uh, c x x t comma t plus tau is equal to r x x tau minus mu x square so here we can see that for and uh, for the wide sense stationary random process covariance co is also dependent on the time difference time difference for discrete case instead of uh, tau we are writing l and instead of rx uh, here also l so so in this uh, video what we understood that e mean of the wide sense stationary random process is constant then e x square mean square value is also constant uh, then uh, mean square value is constant then uh, sigma square variance is constant correlation rx is depend on time to covariance auto covariance depend on time to so uh, similarly for cross correlation is also cross correlation is cxy t uh, cxy to that means it is also dependent on the time uh, difference and uh, cross covariance sorry the cross correlation is rxy cross covariance is rxy cxy tau so this is all about the stationary random process so here we understood that stationary random process has higher space sample space because it uh, it is uh, independent of time for kth order and wide sense stationary is independent of time for the second order only and k is greater than 2.